What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brett Maverick here. Thanks for joining me today. Boom! Dang, not bad. All right, so I'm sure some of you who pay attention to the fitness community are aware of the fitness trolling god, Connor Murphy. No, but for real, I love this guy. He makes really funny videos and uh, actually produces some uh, good informative content too. So I'll link his channel in the description. Go check him out if you want. He's a good guy. A while ago, he made this video called the 10 minute transformation challenge and he challenged all other fitness YouTubers to also do the challenge. So uh, I decided today, what better time than today to do that. So in this challenge, you take a normal picture, just straight on, no lighting, nothing like that, nothing, no attempt to increase the aesthetic appearance. So uh, here's where I started with the transformation challenge. As you can see, I look a bit soft, a bit, um, a bit out of shape, I guess, maybe, and uh, I look pretty normal, I guess. And um, so this is a good place to start. So the first tip that he said to increase your aesthetic appearance is to flex the abs, right? So here's me flexing the abs. That's the first step, obviously already looks better. Um, so yeah, that's step number one. Step number two is to change the camera angle so that the camera angle is facing down upon you from above. Uh, it gives the illusion that the upper body is wider and bigger than the mid and lower body because your upper body is closer to the camera, so therefore it looks bigger and wider, yeah. So that helps a lot, uh, as you can see. Step number three is to flare the lats out. Flaring the lats uh, gives the illusion of a bigger upper body because your lats are flexed and your shoulders are broadened out as far as you can go. And uh, it just adds to the illusion that your upper body is bigger and your mid to lower body is smaller, giving that V taper appearance. That's a big step. Step number four is to be clean shaven. Now I don't hold a lot of hair on my body in the first place, but I went ahead and shaved off whatever remaining hair was on my torso just to uh, complete this step. And being clean shaven will give a direct visual into the shreds and the cuts that you have on your body. So uh, if, you, if you hold a lot of hair, shave your uh, body. Step number five, this is definitely the biggest step in uh, the transformation challenge. That's lighting. So if you guys just have direct uh, light on your body, it's just gonna wash you out. Um, so you want lighting that comes from above and a little bit in front actually. So when the light comes down, it hits your muscle bodies and it gives, and it provides a bit of a shadow from those muscles, giving the appearance that these muscles actually are large and can produce a shadow. And that'll make your muscles appear a lot bigger. So that's uh, definitely a good step. Step number five, completed. Step number six is to get a bit of a pump. So I did some push-ups and stuff and got a bit of a pump in my chest and my shoulders. And this also just adds to the appearance that your upper body is massive and that uh, your waist is small. So getting a pump definitely um, makes you a bit more vascular and gives you makes your muscles appear much bigger. So that's uh, step number six. And the last step, step number seven, is to put some oil on your body. So Connor says that you can use pretty much any oil, even just basic cooking oil. So I went to the kitchen, grabbed some spray on canola oil, and I went to town, baby. And I sprayed my body as evenly as I could. And this just uh, makes your muscles kind of pop, makes them kind of sparkle, and um, makes them look bigger than they really are, probably. So step number seven is to spray some oil onto your body. Um, so yeah, here is the final product, guys. And uh, as you can see, it looks a lot better than from we from where we started here. We'll put them side by side. You can do all of this in just under 10 minutes. So if you see your, you know, idols or whatever on Instagram and they look shredded all the time, 
know that they probably are using some of these steps to uh, give the appearance of a more aesthetic physique and they probably don't look like that all the time walking around. I will mention though that people that are dieting down, that are completely dieted down for in their preparation for a show, probably do look really good, you know, most of the time because they're so paper thin skin shredded to the bone that anytime you see them, they probably will look pretty shredded to be honest. But I'm not uh, the most shredded that I've ever been. I'm not crazy shredded. I don't like being crazy shredded. These are some steps that I use to look more shredded than I really am. And a lot of Instagram and fitness YouTubers probably do use these steps. So now you guys can use them too. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's just about it for the today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, comment, like, do whatever, I guess. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. And uh, hit the bell button so you can be notified when I drop content. And uh, that being said, thanks for joining me today, guys. And I'll see you next time. Peace. It's